Recently, we've been getting a lot of casting rumors for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. This all started back when the characters of the movie were leaked, revealing the main character would be a guy named Mike, obviously. There'd be a character named Abby, who was Mike's 10-year-old younger sister, and someone named Vanessa, a police officer who would help Mike get through the night. We ended up getting four casting details regarding the movie back for Daco's charity stream. Mike Schmidt would be played by Josh Hutcherson, William Athen would be played by Matthew Lilliard, Mary Stuart Masterson would be a currently unnamed villain, and Abby would be played by Piper Rubio. However, we did not get the casting for Vanessa until a recent rumor by the very same person who leaked the characters, and those leaks were confirmed real by Abby being a confirmed real character, and those leaks claimed that Vanessa would be played by Elizabeth Lale. The day I made a video about that, another rumor came about a character named Max who would appear in the film, and would be played by Cat Connor Sterling. I have no idea who Max is, I don't think anybody does, but at the moment all the information we have is that Max exists, so yeah. However, a few days ago we got three new announcements. First of all, they're searching for 70s, 80s, and 90s era cars for the movie. Lucas Grant will be playing someone named Garrett, and Jophia Love will be playing Ghost Kid number 5. Now, some of my friends have said that Ghost Kid number 5 being a girl contradicts BV5, but I don't really think it has to, considering there are five kids and we didn't get the name of this kid. It could very well be Susie rather than Cassidy. Jophia Love already has blonde hair, so it very well could be Susie, though obviously they could just dye her hair. It is interesting though, and it could be Cassidy, but I don't think that's very strong evidence to debunk BV5, at least as of now. But just because this isn't the strongest evidence doesn't mean these casting details don't go against BV5. Up until now, we have never seen a character in FNAF named Garrett. So who is he? Some have theorized that he could be the bite victim, and he does look the part. So is this actually the bite victim? Well, actually, yes. Back in December, there was actually someone claiming that they knew someone attached to the FNAF movie. This was actually before the rumor of Garrett from a few days ago, obviously, so this wasn't at all influenced by the rumors. So what was said? Well, it was said that Mike's younger brother's name was Garrett. The bite victim is Garrett. So this also connects to the tragedy in Mike's past that left him with guilt, confirming that was in fact regarding the bite of 83. So even if the movie is in an alternate universe, that is still true. This also debunks Mike victim as Mike has a younger brother, meaning that he is the older brother. And like I said, that matches up with the guilt thing. The bite victim's name has been a mystery for so long, so much so that the FNAF character encyclopedia literally claims his name to be The Crying Child. Crying Child Affin, an amazing name. But now, it seems like the bite victim's name is actually Garrett. It's not Cassidy, it's not Michael, it's not Chris, it's not Norman, it's none of those. The bite victim's name is Garrett. Mike's younger brother was reported to be Garrett by someone random, but now we have a character named Garrett who was reported by an actual reliable source, which confirms that that report about Garrett being Mike's younger brother was in fact real. And even if this movie takes place in an alternate universe, which it likely does, it still will absolutely have lore, because this is Scott we're talking about. And you could argue that it's in an alternate universe and the name doesn't have to be the same in the games, but Michael and William Afton have those same names, so why would the bite victim's name be any different? I guess you could argue that for Andrew as well, but there's also the parallel argument, and though I, some don't think that's a strong argument, I made a video a while ago where I discussed the topic, so go check it out if you haven't already. But anyways guys, what do you think about the bite victim's name most likely being Gary? Do you like the name? Do you think that it really is the bite victim's name? I think it probably is, but there is a slight possibility that Garrett is just like a placeholder name. For now, I'll just continue to call him the bite victim, or BV, just because it's much, much more objective and won't start arguments. A lot of people just refer to the bite victim as Evan, even though that's never been confirmed, and it's honestly not even that likely. I do think Garrett will be the name of the bite victim, but it's not confirmed yet, and we'll have to see. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.